All right, this morning we're going to be looking at part two of DBCC shrink file. And you can pause the slide or pause the video to, to see the slide, but that's just a review of part one. So let's actually dig into uh, this. I'm going to be using a log file as an example here. So the first thing we're going to look at is if I wanted to shrink the file and I was going to pass in the actual file size, which you can see is 10, um, this is one way that I could do it. I'm going to pass in the name of the log file. You can also do the file ID, but I'm going to pass in the name. Uh, that's the preference that I do. And uh, then I'm going to set the shrink size. And I could execute that, and then it'll output uh, the file ID, the DB ID, which is the, the database ID, current size, minimum size, use pages, and estimated pages. So pretty standard. So I also have the option to truncate only. I'll get into that in a second. By the way, the option no truncate, which I don't have up here, um, only applies to data files. It does not apply to log files. But the truncate only, just quickly, is going to release everything at the end. And the reason why that's important, as I mentioned in part one, is that truncate only, if you don't have any space at the end, it's it's not useful to use. Okay, So it, it's counterintuitive, but if you get into a bind in the log file where you need to shrink it, but you don't have any space at the end, let's say uh, the current is at the very tail of the log. It's counterintuitive to do, but you basically want to generate transactions to move it back to the front so that you can then truncate the log. Uh, it, it, again, it's one of those things that you it feels like you're failing the problem to solve it, but it actually works. It's a, it's a technique that you can use. <clears throat> Empty file, on the other hand, is a little bit different. Uh, there's a couple of times that I've used empty file, and a lot of times it's where like the data or log files were set up wrong. So for instance, suppose that I have a data and a log file on the same drive, but I want the log file to be on a different drive. So what I'll do is I'll create another log file on the correct drive, and then I'll empty the current log file. The other thing that you can do is you can take the database offline and, and set the files. That's true. But if you're not able to do that and you need to do it online, you can use the empty file technique. That's one way. It's the same true with the the same is true. I'm sorry, with the uh, data files. If you need to move a data file, one of the ways in which you can do that is create a data file, have the space allocated to that data file, and then empty the file, and then you can remove it once it's empty. And you, by the way, when you do that, uh, one of the things that I'll do is I'll set it to uh, to allow no growth at all, and to allow the minimal space to do that. So it is something that you can do. You can migrate data from uh, one file to the other. The option that I do not put on here is the no truncate option, which applies to uh, data files only. And it is it is basically an option that it essentially takes the allocated pages um, from the very end uh, to the front of the file, which if you think about that, you can't do that with the log file because it's sequential, right? So the data file, though, you can do that. That's not to say, again, I, I don't, going back to the kind of the rules up here, number one, do not shrink data files except in very exceptional cases. So the reason why I think I may have used no truncate maybe twice in my entire career is because it's not a good practice to get into uh, shrinking data files in general. So that's just kind of a review of the, uh, or uh, sorry, part two of the DBCC shrink file two. And that covers the basics. Again, these rules right here, one, two, three, four, um, I would definitely pay more attention to. The reason why I wanted to, to kind of show some things after these rules is because if you get into the habit of shrinking a lot of logs, there's something wrong. And in general, you may end up seeing more problems later on uh, if you are constantly shrinking those log files.